Hi guys, Colin here. Now yesterday I received a package containing something that I've been very excited about. Dragon's Heart Guitar Picks, I've just started offering a custom engraving service and they sent me some example picks with my logo on them. Now if that wasn't awesome enough, they also put up with my crippling narcissism and produced me a couple with my face on them. Now these things are really cool and this feature is available for you to get any appropriate image you like engraved onto any of the picks that you buy from Dragon's Heart. I'm also very impressed to see just how successful Dragon's Heart have been over the last year. It was just over a year ago that they first contacted me asking if I wanted to take a look at their products and see if I liked them. Now at that point they described themselves as a new company but in the space of that year they have grown substantially and their sales are up several hundred percent. If you're signed up to the Dragon's Lair mailing list then you'll also know that their list of endorsers has grown significantly to include a lot of guys who are quite prominent on the social media circuit including the guitar goddess Robert Baker and even Rob Scallon. Dragon's Heart have also been promoting their show as your picks hashtag and it's just amazing to see how many of you guys are now using these picks. Now really the success is down to you guys for getting excited and spreading the word. I don't think it's too much of a stretch of the imagination to suggest that the success of Dragon's Heart and indeed other small gear companies is largely down to people getting excited and creating a buzz on social media like YouTube or on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram or wherever you happen to be. And those of you that blog or create content of any kind are helping expose these new brands to the public mindset, making them more popular. It's that level of community that really helps things to succeed and I've seen firsthand how strong and dedicated the guitar community can be here on YouTube. Now I've outlined before why I think these picks are utterly fantastic but hey don't just take my word for it why don't you try them for yourself. They are boutique picks so they're a little bit more expensive than your standard plastic fare but well worth the investment for the improvements that you'll get in longevity, playability and tone. And of course if you like the idea of having your own custom design on there, then you can follow the link in the description to find out how to do that. Now thank you all for supporting Dragon's Heart Guitar Picks so far. They are lovely, lovely people and well deserving of a higher place in the industry. And to answer a question which is inevitably going to crop up, if you want to get a Dragon's Heart Guitar Pick with one of my designs on it, then you best go and ask Dragon's Heart very, very nicely because I suspect if enough people do so, they might just be willing to produce a limited run of these and does them and I can have our first signature guitar pick line. Anyway, yeah, that's all for just now. Uh, I'll be back with you soon, but until then, keep it loud and I'll see you later.